Hi friends, we want to welcome you back to Marked by Prayer, an online daily devotion. My name is Luann Hunter and this is my friend, Raina Wright, and we're so glad you chose to join us today. Well, Raina, I'm really, I'm so excited about this series that we're in this week. Um, for those of you who are joining us, we're starting a series called the I Am series. And I think it's a word that we really, um, we are so in need of in today's society uh, with so much that is going on around, not only in our community, but around the world. And the I Am series is, is really um, sort of in a nutshell is, is that we're all facing challenges, you know, even prior to coronavirus, that we all have difficulties and things that we're facing. And, um, what we are finding in scripture, what we find in scripture is that no matter how big our problem, God is bigger. Yes. Um, he is the great I am. And so um, I love that is that we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be fearful. Um, sometimes we get so focused in on what's wrong and um, what's what how we are unable to overcome something yeah. but really what we find in our scripture is that he's above all that he's bigger so we need to stop talking to god about our problems and start talking to our problems about our god mm, yeah that's the truth i love it and it and it's it applies to everything it's not like anything is out of his reach or as the scriptures say that anything is new under the sun i mean sort of the same problems that plague humankind forever of some of the stuff that we're still dealing with in 2020, you know? Um, so this series, we did a study in our group Bible study. We do one on Thursday mornings, and we did a series um, with Lisa Turkers on Finding I Am, and it was an awesome, awesome study. And what it focused on, it's all in the book of John, the scriptures of John, the gospel of John, who which for one of the main reasons I love him is that he calls himself the one that Jesus loved, the disciple that <laughs> we Jesus loved. We all think loved. we're his favorite. Yeah, it's like, yeah, the one that Jesus loved. So <laughs> it's from him. It's from John. Um, and there are seven I am statements. In fact, there are seven miracles where Jesus gains belief of people because they, they want to be part of what he's doing. But then he gives them seven I am statements of what he actually is. What's the point of belief? What do we do after we believe what is jesus there for and who is he to us mm -hmm. and so i think it's going to be an exciting week um, to go through these statements and to see what was happening in scripture when he said these things and just how it applies to us right now i think it's just amazing so, absolutely so what okay. is our first i am for this week so the first i am is i am the bread of life and we're going to find that like we said in the book of john and this scripture comes from the sixth chapter. It's six, verse 35, and it says this. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. Yeah. And, you know, as I, I think about that is the miracle of, of Jesus feeding the 5,000 and Jesus feeding the multitudes and they gathered there because they went to Jesus wanting the wanting him to fulfill their physical needs, you know, to, to provide for them. And um, obviously food was, you know, an important part of the provision that they needed. But what we find is that Jesus is saying, I am the bread of life, not just our physical uh, sustenance, but our spiritual sustenance as well. And so... Um, you know, whatever our need is, he is our provider. Right. And, and, you know, to them at the time, what was so neat is um, they were, were used to the idea of manna and bread being a sign from God and what fulfilled them physically and uh, what was with them in the wilderness. So he took something that was really important to them. It was what sustained them. And he equated himself to that, you know. So I just think that's neat how how timeless it is, too. It, it spoke to the people he was speaking to at the time. And then it comes right to us because he can provide all those physical things and all those outer things that we need. But honestly, and especially when times are tough, he's that sustenance within, you know. He's that peace and that balance and that calming and that thing that as long as we have that, we know we can keep on living. 
So it's it's a personal personal thing. Yeah, absolutely. And and that Jesus is um, everything, everything that we need for this life. Mm -hmm. He he's it. And so um, no matter what your need is today, um, we are going to find in this week that Jesus is the bread of life. Everything that we need, He is our provider. So let's let's go to Him in prayer right now. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your word, Lord. And we thank you for the truth that it speaks into our lives today, Lord. Lord, we know that all of us are going through difficulty. All of us face challenges in this life. All of us uh, are in need, Father, of your provision. And so, Lord, today we come to you, the bread of life, the one who is able to provide all of our needs, not only for this life, but the life to come. And we thank you uh, that we can trust in you, that we can depend on you, that no matter how big our problem is today, Lord, we know that you are bigger. And so, Lord, we pray that you uh, would just hear our prayers, uh, the, the concerns of our hearts, Lord, and that you would move in a mighty way. We pray all of these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us. Tune in tomorrow as we find the next I Am Statement.